Imagine winds so strong they could level entire towns, rain so heavy they could cause catastrophic flooding, and storm surges so high they could wipe out coastal communities. This is the devastating power of hurricanes. These monstrous weather phenomena are born in the world's tropical oceans, their strength fueled by warm water and moist air. They grow, swirl, and churn, becoming a swirling vortex of wind and water that can span hundreds of miles. But hurricanes are not just mindless destruction. They are a vital part of our planet's weather system, redistributing heat from the tropics to cooler regions. In this video, we're going to explore the five largest hurricanes ever recorded, delving into their formation, their impact, and the awe-inspiring power they unleashed upon the world. Are you ready to dive into the turbulent world of hurricanes? Hold on tight, because we're starting with the strongest one on record, Hurricane Patricia. In 2015, Hurricane Patricia shocked the world with its unprecedented strength. Forming off the coast of Mexico in the warm waters of the Pacific, Patricia quickly escalated into a Category 5 hurricane. The storm was a juggernaut, boasting maximum sustained winds of an astounding 200 miles per hour the highest ever recorded for a hurricane at the time. Patricia became a floating behemoth, a swirling mass of wind and rain that had the potential to cause immense destruction. As it roared towards Mexico, the world held its breath, bracing for the impact of this record-shattering storm. But Patricia had a surprise in store. Despite its immense strength, it made landfall in a relatively unpopulated area, sparing Mexico from the worst of its wrath. Nevertheless, the storm caused significant damage, flooding homes, washing out roads, and leaving thousands without power. The legacy of Patricia is not so much in the destruction it caused, but in the records it broke. It stands as a stark reminder of the raw power of nature and the increasing intensity of storms in our warming world. Patricia certainly left its mark, but it's not the only hurricane that has made history. Up next we delve into the story of Typhoon Tip, a storm that dwarfed even Patricia in size. Let's set our sights on the Pacific, where in 1979, Typhoon Tip set a record for its sheer size. This colossal storm, classified as a Category 5 Typhoon, was the largest tropical cyclone ever recorded in terms of diameter, reaching a staggering 1400 miles across. That's about half the size of the United States. Typhoon Tip was not just large, it was powerful. Its winds howled at a maximum sustained speed of 190 miles per hour. To give you some perspective, that's faster than the top speed of most commercial jetliners. The typhoon traced a path across the western Pacific, affecting multiple regions. Its wrath was felt from Micronesia to Japan, causing widespread damage and loss of life. Despite the devastation, Typhoon Tip also provided some valuable lessons for meteorologists, particularly in understanding the factors that contribute to a storm's size and intensity. Now here's a fun fact. Did you know that the low pressure at the center of Typhoon Tip was the lowest ever recorded on Earth? It dipped to an astonishing 870 millibars. This extreme low pressure was one of the key reasons for Tip's immense size and power. Tip's size was certainly remarkable but size isn't everything, as our next hurricane demonstrates. As we move on we'll explore another powerful storm that, while not as large as Typhoon Tip, caused unprecedented devastation. That super typhoon, 195 mile per hour winds, cutting through the Philippines. Families there waking up to the reality of what they survived. Shifting to 2013, we meet Hurricane Haiyan, a storm remembered for its devastating impact. Known in the Philippines as Typhoon Yolanda, Haiyan was a super typhoon with wind speeds that reached a staggering 195 miles per hour. This made it a Category 5 hurricane, the highest possible level on the Saffir Simpson scale. The magnitude of Haiyan's strength was matched only by the extent of its destruction. The typhoon swept through Southeast Asia, leaving a path of devastation in its wake. The Philippines bore the brunt of this disaster. According to official reports more than 6,000 lives were lost and close to 2 million people were displaced from their homes, but numbers alone cannot fully capture the human tragedy of Haiyan. Entire communities were flattened, livelihoods destroyed, and families torn apart. The city of Tacloban was particularly hard hit, with storm surges likened to a tsunami. In the aftermath of Haiyan, the world rallied to support the Philippines. 
countries, organizations, and individuals donated time, resources, and funds to aid in the recovery effort. This global response was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Haiyan's destruction was heartbreaking, but as our next hurricane shows, even the most developed nations are not immune. Rewind to 1969, the United States faced one of its most intense hurricanes, Camille. As the second storm of the famed 1969 Atlantic hurricane season, Camille was a force to be reckoned with. This fierce hurricane reached Category 5 status, the highest on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale. The storm's maximum sustained winds were an astonishing 175 miles per hour, a speed that can be lethal to both structures and life. But Camille's intensity wasn't just about the wind. The hurricane also dropped a whopping 27 inches of rain over Virginia, leading to devastating floods that swept away homes and lives. Camille made its landfall along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The storm surge reaching up to 24 feet flattened entire towns. The hurricane took a severe toll on the region with a death toll that exceeded 250. Thousands were left homeless, their lives forever changed by the power of nature. As an intriguing fact, did you know that Hurricane Camille was so powerful that it literally reshaped parts of the Gulf Coast? Indeed, the hurricane's storm surge altered the coastline, creating new inlets and erasing barrier islands. Camille was a wake-up call for the U.S., but it was a call that went unheeded, as our final hurricane shows. So, let's turn our focus to the most infamous hurricane in recent American history. Fast forward to 2005 and we find Hurricane Katrina, a storm that changed America. This storm was no ordinary hurricane, it was a Category 5 monster, boasting winds that reached a staggering 175 miles per hour. But it wasn't just the wind that made Katrina so devastating, it was the storm surge, a wall of water over 20 feet high that crashed into the Gulf Coast, causing catastrophic flooding. A key factor in the destruction was the failure of the levee system in New Orleans. These barriers were designed to protect the city from flooding, but they were no match for Katrina's wrath. When the levees broke, around 80% of New Orleans was submerged underwater. The city, known for its vibrant music and rich culture, was brought to its knees. The impact of Katrina extended far beyond physical destruction. It exposed deep-seated issues of poverty and racial inequality, as those with the least resources were hit hardest by the storm. The response to the disaster was widely criticized, leading to a national conversation about disaster preparedness and response. Katrina was a tragic reminder of the power of nature, but what can we learn from these devastating hurricanes? We'll explore that in our next segment, so stay tuned. These five hurricanes have taught us many lessons. Hurricane Patricia, the most powerful on record, showed us the raw power of nature. Typhoon Tip, the largest tropical cyclone ever, reminded us of the immense scale that these weather phenomena can reach. Hurricane Haiyan, one of the deadliest in Philippine history, underscored the devastating human cost of these storms. Hurricane Camille, one of the most intense to hit the U.S., demonstrated the destructive potential of hurricanes, even in areas that are often prepared for them. And Hurricane Katrina, a tragic event in U.S. history, emphasized the importance of robust infrastructure and effective disaster response. Each of these storms has left indelible marks, not just on the landscapes they've ravaged, but also on our collective consciousness. They've taught us that hurricanes aren't just meteorological events, they're also tests of our resilience, our preparedness, and our ability to come together in times of crisis. It's crucial for us to stay informed and prepared. After all, knowledge is our best defense against the devastating power of hurricanes. Thank you for joining us on this whirlwind tour of the five largest hurricanes on record. We hope this journey has been both informative and enlightening. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. For more in-depth information about these hurricanes, we've provided links below. Remember, in the face of a hurricane, knowledge is power. Stay safe, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.